hi everybody i am back with another video welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber and if you're new here hello hi welcome to the digital empress channel digital empire so we're gonna be doing a video today that i think you guys would like very much because i get a lot of dms from people asking like for tips and tricks for cybersecurity tips and tricks video so i'm gonna kind of be like refreshing from that video this year because that was way last year and i'm gonna try and give you guys updated tips on like the field and like the best schools the best courses the best books the best resources and how to get in this field so what i'm gonna do is all the dms that i get on instagram or and sometimes like i do get a lot of questions on my youtube videos like in the comment section from people who have tips and they just be coming in like y'all be flooding me and i'm like oh my god so i decided to use it as youtube content so i'm just gonna go through my current you uh instagram dms and i'm sorry like sometimes i get the same questions over and over again and sometimes i just delete them so if you do have any questions for me now go to my instagram follow you girl this is a dm this is almost like a compliment from yoruba poppy on instagram oh we're gonna have to like organize this too because i don't know if y'all want me to tell you like say you guys' instagram names but i think that would help you guys because it would give you followers right like people would know like to come follow you for cyber security but let me know we're gonna get this whole segment organized okay he says hey i'm impressed by your journey and i'm currently watching your video now stay locked in i will thank you so much um i know i do i do really good on a youtube video when i want to watch myself over and over again thank you so much for watching that video i worked very hard on that video so thank you thank you guys for watching me i love it okay this person just said hey like i usually just delete people who just say hey and don't really have like no context because this is from T tawan and he says good afternoon good afternoon i have a question about going into the cyber security field that way i'm thinking about going i guess he, oh the way i'm thinking about going about it is uncc coding boot camp is that a smart move and how can i guarantee a job after that um okay so i get this question a lot from people like they'll be going into a coding boot camp but then be interested in cybersecurity and trying to get into cybersecurity it's a smart move if you want to be a cybersecurity software engineer if you plan on creating um software solutions like you plan on creating anti-malware software or security software for companies to better you know analyze threats and manage threats that's a really good move but if you want to get into the more analysis pen testing side um i would not go for a, a coding boot camp i would look for a cyber security boot camp and there's many online that you can look for. If you guys want me to do a video on different like cybersecurity boot camps and online courses that you can take to grow your skills and be reputable in the field, I can do that. And then they ask, how can I guarantee a job after boot camp? I did this, I did it, um, like a share security sharepoint internship for the government in 2015 right or 2016 one of them and i started looking for jobs within like the last month or so of the internship when you're in like a boot camp or an internship something that's kind of preparing you for full-time jobs you want to start applying for jobs after like the few couple of months that you're in there you built up a almost like a resume and a portfolio of all the projects that you've worked on you want to start putting yourself out there within the last couple of weeks or a month or so before you leave that boot camp or course 
And usually for boot camp, make sure that they have like job services, like for getting jobs and that they help you with your resume and they help you learn how to find jobs and, you know, do well in interviews and how to prepare for interviews because it's gonna help you and make you more confident for interviews. Now, if you decide to continue with coding, the coding boot camp, I would say like the same thing. Like if you do decide to go the cybersecurity coding route, it's the same thing. Make sure they're helping you get jobs, make sure they're preparing you for interviews, make sure they're preparing you for the real world and you're building a portfolio. Make sure you build a portfolio. Make sure you have like a blog or like a GitHub or like your Instagram. You guys know I use Instagram to like kind of blog myself and as a portfolio of like what I'm learning and to like model. <laughs> That's what I would do if I were you. And um, thank you for supporting me. Um, this is what the F it is with three S's. What's up? I got money. We all know I like money. I don't care where to start. Should I learn part Python? Are you in Maryland? I'm in Baltimore County. Um, I am in the Washington DC, Maryland DMV area. Right now I'm not accepting consultations because my like consultation service is acting a mess. Um, uh, but I am gonna work on getting that back up this month and probably start consultation calls next month. And if you want to know more about my consultation service, I'll leave like the blog posts below. If you if you want to learn Python, start learning Python. I would start with my husband is like blowing me up. Babe, I'm sorry. Hold on, let me let me pause the video really quick and answer him before he like gets crazy. Learn Python, learn Python. Python is one of my favorite programming languages. We use that a lot in cybersecurity. A lot of us learn that. This year, I'm gonna be learning Python and getting back into Python and incorporating that into my channel and showing you guys how that works with cybersecurity and automation. I think you should learn Python, but about where to, to start, I would say view my channel and then when my consultation service comes back up, if you still have questions about where you want to start, you can come to me with those questions. And like I said, I have a blog post to know where to start, what to research and you know, what to read before you come to a consultation with me because I don't know what you like to do and I don't know what you want to do for the rest of your life and I don't know what salary you want and I don't know how you, your lifestyle, what kind of lifestyle you want to live. I don't know if you like digital forensics. I don't know if you like security engineering. I don't know if you like pen testing. I don't know if you like cybersecurity project management. I don't know if you like cybersecurity auditing. I don't know what you like to do. So I prepare people before they come in to have like at least um, one to three different types of careers that they see from this website. And I'll post the website below so you guys have a direct link of what they think they would want to do when they decide to enter into cybersecurity. So when they come on a consultation call with me, they're like, oh, I like these three or I like these two or this career. It sounds like something I would like to do and be good at. Can you help me with the course and a path to get here, right? I would say that's about it. Learn Python and check out my blog posts in the site that I post in the description box. Thanks for supporting me and thank you for asking me this great question. This is from Carlos Danger underscore 420. Hey, I like your page. Thank you so much. I'm currently pursuing a career in cyber forensics. I have to get my AS in IT, then go for a bachelor's in cyber forensics. I have no knowledge of computers, but I have a willingness to learn. Any tips or advice for a newbie? Thanks, cutie. To learn about computers, I'm gonna tell you guys this, okay? The best way to learn about computers is to be hands-on i would say go to a pawn shop this is like off my like off the off the dome okay this is off the dome 
and what I probably would have done differently if I was in you guys' position and I had somebody like me to kind of give me these tips. I would say go to a pawn shop and see if you can find like an old computer. Find like a desktop, like, a, like one of the big towers, desktops, and see if you can find it for cheap because I'm gonna tell y'all this. I learned how to work with computers and hardware by being a help desk analysis. Because when you're a help desk analysis, and I also took courses in school, they started us off, um, which makes sense why they did this. They started us off at basic level, which is help desk, so we can learn the ins and outs of computers, how hardware works, how software works, um, how to troubleshoot software, um, what hard drives do, what RAM does, what uh, the BIOS does. You need to know all of this because if you are trying to just jump into cybersecurity and don't know how the computer works, you're not gonna know what these attackers are trying to do to the system. If you don't know how software works and how these hackers find back doors and how they you know, manipulate software and hashing signatures to trick people into downloading fake software that's actually malware, you're not gonna know how to protect against it. So they started us at like a basic level, which was help desk, and I took a help desk course. It was like an online class mixed with like in, like, I guess on campus class. And we learned about computers. And then once I learned help desk and how the computer works, I went to learn about networking and programming and stuff like that and the basics of cybersecurity. And then later, like in my second second year of my AS degree, um, we learned about higher level cybersecurity, which is like pen testing and red and blue team and um, how to secure a network and how to you know build a network and secure it. Basically being a cybersecurity professional in real time. So what I would say do is, if you can, like I said, go to a pawn shop and get a desktop and then find like a course online. Cyberry has a really good help desk course to help teach you different parts of the computer. Or you can just hop on YouTube, here on YouTube, and have someone like kind of, or search um, hardware, of a desktop computer or look up like the desktop that you do find at the pawn shop and search up the parts the different types of parts and what they do that's how you're going to learn how to work with computers and if you can find like an old laptop because you will be you know learning about laptops and how they work as well and how they're different from desktops in help desk in the tech field buy an old laptop unscrew it see what's inside how you install certain parts into the desktop how you install certain parts to the laptop i know how to do all of that but like if you put a laptop in front of me especially like a windows laptop because i worked on windows laptops like a goddamn maniac as a help desk analysis and towers i will be able to just install it in there i know i don't look like i would be but i do <laughs> do that and if you can, I also help with this in my consultation service. Um, try and find a help desk job. I'm telling you, if you find a help desk job, a beginner, just something that, you know, saves you a little bit of money or gets you a little bit of money, but it's teaching you all the things that you need to know for learning about computers. It is going to help you so much. Like, I was a help desk analysis for like two years. Yeah, like two years before I hopped into system administration and then after system administration i hopped into um network analysis analysis and then after networking i hopped into cybersecurity. and i'm telling you even as like a systems administrator i was doing help desk stuff because Sometimes they mix the roles and you might be doing system administration stuff as a help desk analysis. And sometimes as a system administrator, you might be doing help desk stuff. It just depends on the job and like how they mix and match the roles. But it really helped me to learn. And if you find a really great company, like a startup to 
learn or to be willing to teach you and let you learn and be free and just absorb everything oh my god i was blessed with that it was like a love hate relationship at my first official health this job because i learned a lot but i experienced a lot of microaggressions in the office and i don't recommend you do that guys if you have a black woman in the office that looks like me and you're you're another race don't don't be mean okay don't be mean don't say disrespectful stuff because we have feelings too i'm a human and i have feelings too but yes carlos tips for you to learn about computers go to a pawn shop or try and find like buy ebay even find like a cheap computer cheap desktop cheap laptop that somebody's selling for the low and just break that thing apart unscrew them screws and just tinker with it i did that as well some one of my jobs gave me like an old desktop and i took it home and just was just picking it apart uninstalling stuff installing it again unscrewing stuff and that's how i learned it got me comfortable for when i got you know got on the job but yeah that's what i would do oh wow um your Rupa poppy wants me to analyze his resume I got a client doing this video. <laughs> That's all the questions I had in my DMs. I hope this helps some of you. If you have any more questions that you want me to get on here and ask and give you an initial cybersecurity career consultation through my screen here, put them in the comments below and I'll do another video on answering you guys' questions and giving you tips and tricks for your questions for cybersecurity. And if I don't know something or you guys have something that I just don't know, we'll sit on here and I'll research it with you guys. I'll like show you how I research your questions and find out information. And I'll give it to you through YouTube. I think you guys would like that very much. That's all that I have. I'm gonna go back to finishing up this introduction course for y'all so y'all can learn a little bit more about cybersecurity and malware and the, you know, attack life cycle and all of that the good shebang make sure you guys like comment subscribe click the bell so you know when i upload and post follow my instagram help your girl get to 4k and i will see you guys in the next video